Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of the Iron Man Completionist series. In this video, we are forced to get our Zuck Helm back, we green log three different sections of the collection log, and we finally pass the 1000 total collection log slot milestone. The last video absolutely popped off, so thank you. And th because of that, the channel has now passed the point of being able to have channel members. So I've enabled that feature as of posting this video, so if you'd like to support me and the channel in a different way, feel free to become a channel member. Uh, I believe I have just one level of membership so far at $2 a month for a shout out at the end of future videos. I'm really not that creative when it comes to stuff like this, so if you have ideas for different perks or levels, let me know. It is obviously not required in the slightest, but is always appreciated. Man does have a wedding and a honeymoon to save up for, so... Anyways, Thank you all for your support on this series so far, it's been an incredible journey. Let's get to the video. Thank you for stopping by today, and I hope you enjoy. I figured it was about time to sell all of my totems from the Revenant grind. Uh, I went and scouted out the emblem trader on my main. Probably should have waited until he was a little bit closer to the 30 line, if not below it, but it is what it is. Um, after selling all this stuff, we end up getting about 61-ish mil in just raw cash, which is pretty sweet, um, which kind of puts us towards and above that 100 mil cash stack in the bank, which might be the highest amount of money I've ever had. I'm not really sure, but... We ended up getting in and out, easy peasy, only just saw a bunch of bots, no PKers. And this kill puts me at 1000 Vedion KC, which is my first big wildy boss to 1000 KC. It might be the only one that I get up there, um, unless I go super dry on the Callisto pet, but we are not worried about that just yet. Still hunting that skull. Man, I like just got here. These pick hairs are just kind of annoying tonight. Like super slow reaction times, misses all the freezes, doesn't even TB, whatever. <sighs> got maybe what? Two kills in on this trip before having to run away. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all these people. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't mind me. I, I don't know how I got the log off there. I should have been way quicker about that. Oh, that's not what I was expecting to see. Blade number four. And <laughs> they're only 10 mil. Oh my god. Not even 60 kills later for blade number five. How have I gotten five blades before this skull? What the heck? Sorry about the flashing. Not much I can do at the moment. Of course, the one time I forget to put it in the, uh, not put it in the, the looting bag. These guys are really good. Most PKers are just really fantastic. This flashing is annoying. I should have, I should have just tried to get it rid of, get rid of it. Looks like we'll be able to get away here. Yep. See ya. Oh my gosh. That is the first uh, dupe champion scroll I've gotten on this grind. That's crazy. Go. 
Oh my god, there we go. Finally. I just had to teleport from a random team that took forever. 1156 KC, that's what? Like 1020 KC since the update plus 100 Calvarion. That is all rev weapon upgrades done. And Vidion green logged. Here is expert KC number 200. We've been pretty darn lucky at this raid, so cannot complain. But I would like those purples. Uh, let's see what we get. We can still get the pet, which would be sweet. Nope. Still just hunting that Masori top. Not bad. This new Fang Void Waker Narda Teleport Court Method, I figured I would send some. So here's 800 KC at Corporeal Beast, and we are still just hunting our first sigil here. We only have two jars. It's not looking good. Surely first sigil before 1000. We've been making some swords in our downtime, and here we are with enough points for the next piece of the outfit. So we're gonna get the trousers and we'll keep going, I guess. With this sword, that should be enough for the next piece of the outfit. Just gonna double check here. Okay, yeah, so we just need the top to finish the outfit. And then it's just the sword and the double ammo mode and we're done. Let's get this one. One more slot down. Two thousand points was quick and painless. Uh, so we just need two more slots. We're gonna get the double ammo mold here, which is gonna be quite nice for when we start working on finishing up the champion's cape. If I am remembering correctly, that should be enough points to finish the Giant's Foundry collection log. All right, we just have the Colossal Blade. 5,000 points. There we go. It looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. Not my favorite minigame, so I'm glad to be done. Can I like sell this back or something? I don't know. I'll have to figure out what to do with it, but another minigame green log. Very nice. Did not have my recorder open. And of course it's purple. Just a reminder, that was about 30 dry. We just need the Masori body to finish. If we get it, it's absolutely spooned. We're already pretty lucky to begin with, so. Not anticipating it. No. That's sad. Third pair, I think. We'll take it, I guess. Let's go. It was a really scuff raid. The Baba was super slow, and then I had to run out to go do something during Kef during the boss of Kefri. Um, this is just a couple of raids later. Let's see what we get. We could be done right here and right now. That would be absolutely amazing. Are you serious? This is... Oh my gosh. Really, bro? That's... 
My fifth Masori roll, fourth pants. Oh god, bro. Uh, the new rap boss came out today, and there is whatever this spine is on 2KC. Um, I don't. I didn't even realize that this was coming out today, but uh, here we are. There is 100 KC at the new rat boss. Um, I'm probably just gonna stop here for now because all that I have left to get is the pet and I'm not really pet hunting at the moment. Um, I'll throw the loot up. Um, it's nothing crazy for where I am in the game, but it is what it is. Oh wait, what? Two of them spawned at the same time. That hasn't happened in a while. Well, let's see what we can get. Surely in Butteheart right here, right? Nope. Maybe Eternal Gem on this one? Never. Oh my, an Abyssal Head from just a... Okay. I can get these kinds of drops, but I can't get superiors that often. That is my first superior drop since coming back to Barrage Lair. I guess it's nice to finally see something. That is my third total drop from superiors ever. And I'm at about 450 superiors uh, and 34 and a half million Slayer XP. So nice to finally see something but not exactly what I'm looking for. The new rat boss and DT2 boss common achievements came out today, which means we have lost our Zuck helmet. Looks like they added 41 total tasks. It's kind of a lot. Um, I'm probably just gonna start with these rat tasks, get them out of the way because I'm sure the other ones will take me quite some time. There is Perfect Scurious. Pretty tough. Here we are killing it with the rat weapon and then immediately failing, killing all the rats in quick time. But it suddenly worked when I just used the door, so. There are all of the rat combat achievements done. Oh my god, please just hit it, thank you. That took a while. Um, <laughs> two minutes, oh jeez. Well, there is budget cutter done. I'll post the gear that I used here. It's uh, pretty, pretty great. This, this kill has potential. Please just keep hitting X, okay. Okay. Try for the venge. Oh shit, oops. Um, I hope that's the time. Let's go. For on the double death that is, we will take it. This one didn't take too long. I didn't try any like Natty Ruby stuff because I really couldn't be asked, but there is the Vard speed done. Okay, don't mess up here. There we go, that should be the perfect task done. Nice. Uh, this one, these perfect tasks kind of, they challenge you, man. All right, we're good to kill it here. 
This should be the Axe Enthusiast task on our last Bard task, so it's time to move on to Leviathan, I think. This will be just the one stun task, which is pretty much any kill, but I figured I would just get it done, get it done with right quick. This should be the mithril ammo task while staying under 25 HP. It's really not that difficult, more just annoying to be honest. Okay, this has potential, I think. Very nice. Didn't it didn't really take all that long for this speed, but it's definitely pretty dependent on rubies, which is annoying as hell. Apparently I wasn't recording that. Um, that is Leviathan done, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Now we have Duke and Whisperer left. Figured I'd just get this walking task done out of the way. Quick one and done. That's insane. Um, not what I was expecting. I'm trying to go for the speeds and I suck and I got a second axe piece. Yay. God, like 15 hours later, Jesus. Oh my God, peace. That's it, all right? Hell yeah. That actually wasn't really that hard. That took, I think like actually two Two attempts, I think? Yeah. Not bad. Shout out uh, Kirby's Guide. Very helpful. Uh, the only Duke task that we have left now is the perfect one, I think. Which will be fun. Let's uh, rebank and get ready for that. Okay, well, I didn't even have OBS open like I thought I did, but we just finished up the perfect Duke task. Really not that hard especially if you're actually paying attention. Uh, but that means that Duke is now done and all that we have left is Whisperer, which is my favorite boss ever. If you watched, what, two videos ago? Um, this one will be super easy. Pretty much do that most of the time. Anyways, I'll have to kind of figure out what people are doing for this. I haven't watched really anything. And then the speed is gonna be the tricky one without a ZCB, so we might be doing some ACB resets and lame crap like that, so I just hope it doesn't take nearly as long as the Duke time. Holy noodle on that enrage phase, dude, what the heck? <clears throat> Um, there is Dark Memories, Tentacular, and <laughs> three minute kill right on the dot. Um, that was really slow. So we just have Perfect Whisper and then sub two minutes. Oh boy. If I don't mess this up, that should be Perfect Whisper. Probably one of the easier ones, especially because I have so much KC here. We have died so many times doing these DT2 combat achievements that I've already thrown in the three extra Void Waker Blades. I think it was three. It's at least two. And then here we are throwing in one of my extra Masori Chaps. We'll hold on to that second one for now.
Wowee. Number five? Sick. That felt kind of quick. Well, what was a PB? And we got an ingot, which I think makes that enough ingots for when I get another warrior ring, I can make a second Bellator. I'll take it, I guess. Well, with today's update, they changed the times. I got a 201.2 twice. Tied that, or I got it yesterday morning and then tied it last night. I was at the office for like, I don't even know, 10 plus hours, so I didn't get much time to actually try and get the sub two before the potential change today. But uh, here we are. Hopefully, we don't just get 206s now. Uh, let's see what happens. Surely, surely, surely. Yes! I actually got the, the sub two. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that one was so good. GM is back. There it is. The last game of Castle Wars that we need to do forever. We have 800 tickets here, which, well, technically 801, but the most expensive item is worth 800 and you can just sell them all back. I'm sure you all know this, but this is going to be 39 collection log slots here. Uh, I'm just going to log off of this account and then I'm going to hop to a member's world here. And then we're going to start buying things. We just buy and then sell back. collection log slots. Castle Wars is done. Bam. That's going to be it for episode 11. If you've made it this far into the video, you are awesome and I appreciate you. I have posted all of the new Desert Treasure 2 Comet achievements as separate videos, the ones that I remembered to record at least. So if you want to check those out in full, they're up on my channel now. I've been thinking about going back to shorter videos, like 10 to 15 minutes long, instead of these 25 plus minute long videos. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really backlogged on clips or anything, so this would allow for more consistent uploads, but would just require more on my end regarding editing and continuously struggling to come up with title and thumbnail ideas. Let me know what you think down below. I am open to either, but my brain gets these ideas in my head. It's like, oh, I'm going to do this big comprehensive thing and I'm not going to end it until I get this. And then the video ends up being half an hour long. But this was a pretty productive video where we green log a few new sections of the collection log. We struggled to get our Zuck Helm back and we finally passed that 1000 collection log slot milestone. I've done a bunch of Slayer on the side and we're up to 456 superiors now, but still no luck. 
In the next video, we'll keep chipping away at TOA and Barrage Lair, as well as other mini games and random collection log grinds. Thank you again for all the support on this series so far. If you'd like to support the channel in another way, you can now become a channel member. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, it's about $2, and if you have any other t perk or tier ideas, just let me know down below. The next subscriber milestone would be a thousand I guess and we're closer than I ever thought we'd be so if you're not already subscribed please consider doing so it is completely free on your end. While you're at it don't forget to leave a like and a comment I do read all of those comments and they always put a smile on my face. Anyways thanks again for watching I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning day or evening and I'll catch you in the next one.